Hi there folks, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of ThingLink.com. ThingLink.com lets you take photographs and layer different multimedia, text, images, video, and audio on top. So I'm just going to demonstrate that here. I've got a uh, video that could be played, some text information, audio information, Facebook, etc. through these little tags. If you're setting this up for the first time and you're an educator, I do recommend clicking on this EDU link and setting up a ThingLink EDU account. That'll allow you to set up student accounts at a future date if you decide to do that. One thing I like about the ThingLink uh, sign-in is that you can use Google, Twitter, or Facebook to create your account so you don't have to remember new information, although you're also able to just put in an email and a new password if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and click here on the Google authentication and then I'm going to put in my credentials. Now that I'm logged in, I'm ready to start creating a thing link. I'm going to go over here and click on the plus button for create and this will allow me to add images or import images from the web. On an iPad, one of the fastest ways to do this is to just click on choose images and then grab something from your photo stream. So I'm just going to grab this image here and bring that in. And this brings me to the ThingLink editor. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just click here where it says to add a tag. I need to have something at least initially, so I'm going to say hello. And then I'm going to save that tag. If I click on that tag, you'll see that it has my little message. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some more. So I'm going to click on Edit. And I'm going to double tap anywhere on the screen. This time I'm going to put in a web link. So I'm going to do my website. Another thing you can do is you can change the icon here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this little target symbol. And then if I want to, I can make the area that's activated around that target a little bit larger if I want to sort of indicate that this entire region is available anywhere that somebody touches. But I'm going to just kind of reduce that just a little bit because it's probably not necessary. I'm going to go ahead and save that tag. And again, I can just keep adding different tags, changing the icons, and then there is a delete button here if I want to delete. So the editing of uh, ThingLink is relatively similar on all um, devices if you go through the website. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save here. You'll see then that I have the options to just kind of interact with it through the touch or I can get the link for sharing it and the embed code. That's what you'll need to get started with ThingLink.com. Good luck.